The commander has stepped through the rift, and now there is no going back. Onward, to solitude, to the unknown, to the abyss. <laughs> when in doubt, save. Champion, how extraordinary. Our voice over budget is gone, and now the dude who plays the game needs to read the text. <clears throat> I sensed a surge in the power within you the moment you boldly stepped forth into the drift. I was there, following you into the abyss, but it was as though I suddenly found myself in the blessed expanses of the upper plains. The angel turns his head and surveys the bleak landscape that has been revealed to you. His movements are growing tense, and even the soft golden glow that usually emanates from him is fading. So that's where this rift leads, to the realm of the most cunning of all the demon lords. This location is familiar to me, but that fact brings me neither joy nor consolation. Of course, um, we are in the presence of the realm of a certain Nocticooler. I mean, we learned already through the tales of the storyteller. That this is the place where he went and the crystals are from so this must be it the home of demons and the heart of everything eomide hates oh how you wish you could rain cleansing flames down on this entire place but your goddess is far away and you can't defeat these endless demon lead demonic legions on your own you know that it won't be easy for you here but you are duty bound to fight to the last welcome back to the abyss this is not a hospitable place, but just imagine how many experiments we can conduct here. Welcome to Act 4. How many marvelous demons we can study. Arushile's voice drops to a whisper. The Abyss. I swore I would never come back. Everything here dredges up old memories. Everything here just screams, this is your true home. My cursed and benighted home. Home is the place where you feel safe. The place you love and feel comfortable in. Our party is your true home and the abyss is just a place. A sad smile lifts the corners of the succubus's lips. You're right, this is just a place. A dark and evil place, but no more than that. I've already broken away from here once and I can do it again. Legions of the wretches will march through this plain and trample its residents into dust. Alas, we won't live long enough to witness that day, but we can bring it closer by completing our mission. What can you tell me about this place? These are the Midnight Isles, an odd mix of pensiveness and profound aversion rings in the angel's voice. This is the realm of Nocticooler, the Lady in Shadow. Every co oh, hello there. Every corner of the abyss is repellent on its own way, but this place, this is where one truly walks on corpses. The angel gestures at land with his iron gauntlet. On the corpses of demon lords that were treacherously murdered, every monster slain by Nocticooler becomes an island, like the one we are standing on right now. This place, oh that's bone, this place seems to be created specifically to befuddle the hearts and minds of the righteous. What I mean is that the demon lords are our enemies and their death should please us, but as I look at this black sky, I realize that sometimes the death of evil creates even greater evil. Why would Nocticula kill the other demon lords? For power, of course. Every new murder that she commits extends her realm, and the greater her realm, the greater her power. The ambitions of a lady in shadow are great, and she knows no mercy, so the Archipelago has become much larger in the millennia out of her rule. What does Nocticooler have to do with the invasion of Coladion? I do not know. Before the idol that we saw in the Midnight Fane, I had not seen any trace of her influence in the world wound. But it's no wonder. The Lady in Shadow values guile, subterfuge and devious plots. 
I will not be surprised if it turns out that she's been secretly aiding Baphomet and Tuscali since the first days of the invasion. What should I be wary of here? I beware every shadow. The angel answers without hesitation. This is the abyss, the plane of chaos and evil. It would be fair to compare our mission to that of spies and deep into enemy territory. We do not belong here and everyone and everything that does not seek to kill us on sight will either kill us slowly or use us for an unimaginable evil. It is a shame that we cannot hope for the protection of the Sword of Valor in this place or of the one who used to wield it. You should have sensed it already, how different everything feels without the banner's holy protection. What is our plan? We need to find the source of the Nahindulian crystals and destroy it forever, if possible. We know for certain that the crystals were transported to the world wound through the rift that we used to go here. What we must do right now is take a thorough look around. We need to understand what this place is, and what they were doing with crystals here. Whether they were creating them, or mining them, or bringing them here from elsewhere. I would also like to know who was in charge of the demons on this side of the rift. There still may be traces here, or even some documents or witnesses. I see. Onward. Be careful, champion. I will wait for you here. Wait, you're not going to join our party? Regarding our mission. What if I try to use my powers to open those old portals? Alas, that is unlikely to work. These portals are unlike the seal and dresden. They cannot simply be swept away. If you use that method, method, you will either destroy them for good or open the path, but not to the place where the portal initially led and where our quarry fled. That's all I've learned so far. Hmm. Okay. The stone at the entrance to these gates looks worn, so there is no doubt that they saw frequent use. This once used to be a working portal, it seems, but now the gates are inactive and lifeless. Is that a hand? A floor? Interesting. I do what I must. That's like an elbow, but that's a second one. First one? Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, this looks very interesting. Like a spine. Oh, that's a skull. Ah, uh, that's a demon lord, okay. How do I fight something the size of, um, to the caves? The size of, well, that? Hmm. What's that? Let's save before we do anything stupid. Stones of the Ark emit a revolting high-pitched shriek. In response to these vibrations, the particles of ash and grit under your feet float upward. They gather together and violently twist themselves into a whirlwind, the heart of which an ember of magic flame ignites. The fire becomes brighter until you see a strange city inside the flames, featuring aerial spires, staircases that lead led into the void, and streets entangled in a way that contradicts any logic or common sense. You see buildings that seem to be caught in an endless loop of crumbling and rebirth from ruin. Islands that float in the ether and alleyways that disappear and reappear again in a different location a few moments later. The city is reminiscent of a grimacing clown, one that makes mocking faces and changes its expression every second. Here and there you see other glints of light flashing on the city streets. After you look closer, you realize that the lights radiate from other arches, similar to the ones before you. To, to the one before you. A gold coin with Baphomet's mark, which you found on Darazan's body, reacts to the revolting sound by vibrating. The coin appears to be an enchanted item set to resonate magically with the Ark, possibly serving as a tool of some sort. Figure out what you're seeing. You notice that the entire city appears to be littered with an intricate network of portals, with the arches serving as artifacts, allowing you to access the alien network. Interacting with the arches seems to require formulating a clear request in your mind, at which the po point the magic will transfer you to another portal along the network. Try to understand why you can't move to the other arches. Though it is quite obvious that this strange construct was not designed for mundane use, only transporting users to specific arches that they are allowed to visit. It's likely that some kind of system of magical marks it uses it is used.
quite possibly shaped into tangible objects to provide access to various arches. Before you get one such token, all the destination points will be close to you. Determine the arch's origin. The stones are cut in quite a rough manner, while the magical symbol appears to be drawn without too much diligence. It's quite unlikely that the architect of such an intricate network would have demonstrated such a lack of finesse. By all appearances, this arch is handmade, somehow connected to the web of portals and illicitly used for personal gain. Okay. I'm not going to touch this. Um, let's see what else... Wait, caves. Okay, what else do we have here? That's a plateau. Let's see what this does. I'm not sure. Should we go into the cave? Should we use the portal? Can we use the portal? Hmm. Group manager. Ah, haha. Ha. Okay, yeah, no. Thank you. Okay, so we have a new mythic level. Um, mythical beast. The animal companion is just as mythic as you. Okay. Summon Mulvanic Deaver. Oh! Whoa. Hello there. Bestow the divine. Angels can now imbue weapons of others with the same holy power. Oh, rupture. Only one. Rupture restraints. You can create a surge of mythic powers that frees you from all magical restraints. Okay, um. Angel. Improved angelic halo. At 5th, 7th, and 9th level. An angel can select an improvement to the angelic halo ability. Okay. Um, what am I supposed to choose here? London to smite? Or was it no? Battle meditation? Best jokes? <laughs> it is laughter. What? What is this game? In a dire situation, you can instantly make your way to a companion in danger and get them back into combat. No. Hmm, Master Shapeshifter? No, we don't need that. Hmm. As long as you keep fighting, Thunder is okay. Once per round, when your melee attack misses the target, you deal sonic damage to all enemies. Oh, you've learned a way to increase the number of spells you can cast per day. Well, that's very important. Let's do that one. An improved Angelic Halo. So we have Blinding Light. Um, enemy that attacks the angel first time around must pass a fortitude saving throw, be blinded. Or, um, all demons under creatures are suffer damage each round. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. A passive ability that passively destroys demons and undead? Whenever an ally suffers damage, they receive fast healing equal- Oh, that's ridiculously powerful. All enemies uh, suffer penalty? No, I don't care. No, all allies uh, gain a bonus to fire resistance. Okay, no. Whenever uh, the angel doesn't suffer any damage from the ally spells that have an area of effect. Ooh. Well, that's very good. But we're going for passively burning down demons. Burning bright. And mythic feet. Poo. Hmm. Okay, destructive shockwave. Hmm. Whenever you miss with a melee attack, the target still takes damage equal to your strength bonus. Well, that is ridiculously powerful. New spells. Ooh, where you look? What do you look at that? Nice. What is a mythic hero? Mythic heroes are set apart from their count contemporaries, capable of amazing feats of courage in the face of overwhelming odds. In spite of this, they're still similar in many ways to other adventurers. Okay, ah, okay. Complete. When you choose, yeah, we, we already chose that one. Don't be a ridiculous game. Mythic path. 
What do we have here? Um, abundant spell casting, yes, of course. Destiny beyond birth, do we need that? Uh, school of magic. Mm. Future summoned piece of. Okay. And red show. He must be cleaving show. No. Enforced vigor. Every time you damage an ally. Wait, what? No. You always ready to unleash some extra attack. When you make an attack of opportunity, you gain a bonus on attack roll and damage. Okay. The number of attacks of opportunity you can make each round is increased by two. Wait, mythic charge. Ooh. Powerful shadows. But no. Last stand. Okay, can't die. Proved critical. Flawless attacks. Hmm. Weapon finesse. To weapon fighting. An expert weapon that you rely on your agility. No. Mm. Toughness. Flawless attacks. And Arushele. Abundant casting. Let's do abundant casting, why not? And we're going for school mastery. Do conjuration. And Ember. Hmm. I mean, I'm really, if we should use them, we're just going to use them for summoning stuff. And Sorcerer's Reflex. No, Mythic Resolve, I don't care. Destructive, Toughness. Point blank, School Mastery. Why not? Mm, we already have Conjuration, so we're going next for Evocation. Help where I can. And Sealer. What about the rest of our party? Did they come with us? I mean, the rest of our team, of our group. I want her to be unstoppable. And she's going for shield focus mythic. You're master of using your shield for protection. Add your shield bonus and your shield's enhancement bonus to your touch AC. Flawless it no, 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 no. First shield focus. Perfect. My skills Let's are see. Absolute. Um, spell book. Ay ay ay. Pillar of life, cleansing flames. Breath of life. Mm. And level eight dragon kind. Wait, can she no, joking, right? I mean you can see the priorities I'm taking. <laughs> You're telling me that she can become a dragon? That would be beyond ridiculous I mean seriously you seriously telling me that that would be beyond cool animal growth we haven't given her oh, okay Do I don't need her to have anything even though yeah maybe in recovery oh summon nature's ally Natural leopard, giant frog, or natural mite, mites. The heck game. Why? Instant enemy. Hmm. What are we? Oh, available spell uses per day. Oh, that means she can just use every one of these spells. So that's with a mythic ability. That's important. Okay. So you're telling me that she can turn into a dragon now? Right, but... Yes. Didn't we... Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 right, Nino, okay. Sorry. 
Hmm. Holy morph. Wall. Green. Black, blue, brass, silver, green, red, white. A bonded object can be used once per day to restore any one spell that the wizard had prepared for this day. So we need to prepare this? Or how do I... No suitable spell slot. What does that mean? <laughs> I want her to transform into a dragon. <laughs> oh, I'm going to end this episode. Angelic Halo. Do we still have her blessing? Ayomidi's blessing, yes, 55 minutes. So long we, we will have angel wings, right? Since we... Wings, yeah. We will receive wings, but... Well, six, seven, eight, that's going to take a while until we're there. Damn. Okay. Until we meet again.